Coincidence, people, that um, you all remember the rapper Freeway, you know what I'm saying, from uh, Rock Nation or The Rock, you know what I'm saying, um, the rapper Freeway, well, his son died. It's not a coincidence that his son died on the same day that um, so-called Walter Wallace was shot dead in the streets of Philly. Now, now pay, pay, pay attention, people, because, see, this is just how these sacrifices work. You have Walter Wallace, a black man with some mental issues, which, which, which we call demon issues. Ain't no, ain't no such thing as mental health. You know what I'm saying? A black man with some mental issues had a knife and was charging at the police, and the police shot the man down. Okay. And they was rioting in the streets, and this all happened in Philly. We all know that the rapper Freeway is from Philly. You know what I'm saying? His son is from Philly. They was rioting and protesting in Philly all on the same day. Guess what day that is, people? <laughs> Guess what day that is, people? That was the, on the day of Philly's birthday. The anniversary of Philadelphia. Don't believe me? All you have to do is research. When was Philadelphia established? And find out for yourself. And you will find out the reason why all of this happened on this day is because it was Philadelphia's birthday. And we all know who controls all of the colonies and all of the states. We all know who controls America. America was founded on the elites. America was founded on satanic spiritualism. You know what I'm saying? The worship of false gods and false deities. Don't believe me? Why do we celebrate Christmas? When you celebrate Christmas, you're celebrating Tammuz. Not only if you celebrating Tammuz, Tammuz is another word for Nimrod. Nimrod, if you do your research on what Nimrod is, Nimrod is, well, was an Ethiopian um, general of a great army once upon a time ago. He led a great army into building the Tower of Babel. That's who Nimrod is, an Ethiopian general. Now, in a spiritual format, which what these Africans worship and what these Africans believe in, you know what I'm saying, and what the white Jewish people worship is Tammuz. Because the white Jewish people study out of the Babylonian Tammud. Don't believe me? All you have to do, you know what I'm saying? Don't take my word for it. Do your research on everything I tell you. And you will come back and be like, yo, these are facts. So, the Babylonian Tammuz. 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 Celebrate Christmas. You're celebrating the birth of Tammuz. That Christmas tree represents life. If you plant a tree on the top of... Um, on the top of Freeway's son's grave, what does that symbolize? That symbolizes life, the tree of life, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You can eat from every tree in the garden. You notice in the book of Genesis, a tree represents a man. A tree represents life. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see where I'm going here, people? So, therefore, when you celebrate Easter, you're celebrating the birth of Nimrod again, Tammuz again. So, this land, America, was founded on Africanism, was founded on African voodooism, was founded on rituals. And who is the top sorceress? Well, the Africans are the top sorceress. But the white people, the Jewish people, the white Jewish people that made a league with the satanic African voodoo list, the African gods. They done made a league. They done made a bond with them. So they pushed that over here in America. So when you see Freeway Ricky Ross' son dies in Philadelphia on the same day that Philadelphia was established, 
Well, you got to know that that is a ritual. And that's the reason why the black man in America is the real Hebrew. The real Israelite. And that's the reason why the black man in America are not supposed to worship their birthday. Not supposed to celebrate their birthday. But hey, y'all don't want to listen to me because y'all want something for free. You know what I'm saying? That's why you guys are so willing to celebrate your birthday. Because you guys want to get something for free. That's why you guys want to celebrate Christmas. Because you guys want to get something for free. That's why you guys want to celebrate Easter. You know what I'm saying? You women want to celebrate Valentine's. Valentine's Day, you know what I'm saying? All of these holidays are African holidays because you're worshiping an African God. But you ain't listening to me because these holidays provide you something for free. That's why you ain't going to listen to me. That's why you guys going to continue to worship and celebrate these pagan holidays, including your birthday, because you want to get something for free. You see what I'm saying, people? So you got to understand. You know what I'm saying? And I was reading the, the post from Media Takeout that Freeway Ricky, I mean, not Freeway, uh, Rick Ross, I'm not, I'm sorry, Freeway done wrote. He said, I hope Allah forgive my son for his sins. Who is Allah? Research Allah, people. I'm, I, I, why if you, I got the knowledge. Let me tell you, who is Allah? And I know a lot of you black, Negro, Muslims is not going to like what I got to say about this one. But who is Allah, people? Allah just means power. P-O-W-E-R. Do your research on what Allah means. Allah just means power. See, our God, the God of the Hebrews, name is Ahiah. So when we say Allah, we say it all power and our God's name. All power, Ahiah. Because our God is all powerful. See what I'm saying? So when these Muslims say Allah Akbar, they say in power is great. And guess what? The Ishmaelites, which are the, the, the Arabs, they got power. They got power over you Negroes. They got so much power over you Negroes that they got you Negroes worshiping and praising their God, which is that rock over there in Mecca. Do you know what they do every year? They walk around that rock seven times. They bow down and kiss that rock. And if you got enough money, you can get a chance to stick your head through the curtain of the rock. That is sick. That is twisted. You know what I'm saying? But the scripture says that Israel will be called off into another land. There shall he worship other gods neither him or his forefathers have known. Even wood and stone. What is the two biggest gods that we worship? That is wood and stone. Well, wood is the cross. There's a lot of Christians out there that worship, that not worship the cross, but is in that religion worshiping Tammuz. And the other percentage of Negroes is praising Allah. That rock over there in Mecca. But my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Congratulations, Freeway. You done killed your son for the little bit of fame that you received. Congratulations. I'm not going to pat you on the back. Because it is a wrong thing to kill your son for fame. To kill your son. You know what I'm saying? See, you can you can spit that you sorry stuff to, to the people that don't know. But to the people that know like me, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to expose you. But anyway... I don't can only tell you so much on these little ten minute videos. You want more exclusive content, exclusive conversation? I mean weekly shows, tonight show, um um two o'clock Pacific time, five o'clock Eastern time is the Lampshades ministry. Two twins who teach that Hebrew history. 
Go to 90.1 Israelite Radio on Facebook. Go to Facebook, type in 90.1 Israelite Radio. Make sure you hit that follow button over there because we got a show for every day of the week. Tonight, we got the lampshades, 2 o'clock Pacific, 5 o'clock Eastern Time, right over there. Tomorrow, which is Friday, we got the Israelite teaching with Pastor Michael Smith, which is me and Brother Q-Tip. That's tomorrow night at 9 o'clock p.m. on 90.1 Israelite Radio. Saturday, we got the Spiritual Food Hour show with Pastor Michael Smith and Sister Lady Smith. That's Saturday at 12 noon. Sunday, Monday, we got a, a... a show for every day of the week on 90.1 Israelite Radio. You want knowledge? You want true wisdom? Well, don't hesitate to log on to Facebook, type in 90.1 Israelite Radio, make sure you hit that follow button so that you can catch every show and be educated. You understand? And if you want to join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group, just send me a friend request to my Facebook page, PSTR, Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. If you're new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop this juicy news, hit that like button if you like this show, and if you have a question or a comment, put your question or comment down below. I'll answer them accordingly. God bless you.